Zach Thornton. I am the development director of the Cougar Collective here at Washington State University. I think after a year of working in the space and working for the collective and seeing what works, what doesn't, you know, Base Path ended up being just the one stop shop for everything we needed. We kind of have a, a double edged sword. We use Base Path for uh, our membership side of things that takes care of backing membership perks and, you know, getting our members into a database. We also use it for student athlete communication and NIL deals um, and that whole side. 10 out of 10. Nothing, nothing bad to say, truthfully. It has sped up our processes. It has saved us time. It's fully optimized what we're doing. And our small organization is very, very thankful to have Base Path. Base Path has been, you know, hand in hand with us during this entire process. If we have a problem, the one of their representatives is always right there. And, you know, we have truthfully kind of let them take care of most of our problems and it's all 100% worked out so far. Membership side of things within the last month, we've grown, you know, over 100, I think it's 20 members now. I, I checked this morning, but I truly believe it's due to the simplicity and just the you know common face of the checkout process and just how easy it makes for the members. We were doing all sorts. So events, social media, you know, in-person autograph signings, business relationships, partnerships, promotion, really all over the board. So far, uh, we have supported football. Uh, men's basketball, women's soccer, women's volleyball, women's golf, baseball. You know, I think that we take the wins where we can get them. I would like to say, you know, right now heading into 2023 fall season, I think that as a collective, we've really overcome the education gap who see members roll in and dollars get out to the student athletes and have them engaging with the community. And I think that I'm kind of moving through our recent biggest win. So we'll keep moving and look forward to the future. No, I think football draws the eyeballs. It allows Coop fans and alumni and all over the nation to tune back into Pullman, Washington, our little small town. And I think that in the end, that benefits us a ton. And when it benefits us, it benefits the student athletes. You know, since the conference realignment news went down, Coops have shown that they're not stepping down. They're not backing away from the challenge. They're stepping up. And I think so far around 120, 130 members, uh, and we're only going up from there.